Well, when it comes to uh, energy policy, common sense is needed, but unfortunately it's not that common here in Washington, D.C. when talking about energy policy. You've heard things like, um, well, the laws of supply and demand. Well, not even Joe Biden can repeal the law of supply and demand. Today, there are about 280 million cars on American roads. They use gasoline, a petroleum product. And they got to run on something. And while in Texas, where Senator Cruz and I come from, we do believe in an all of the above energy policy. We produce more electricity from wind turbines than any other state in the nation. But each of these has a role to play in our economy. And right now, uh, we're playing uh, what has become a world-class sport here in Washington, D.C., which is called the blame game without offering any real solutions to the American people. Things like reducing the uh, gas, having a gas tax holiday, so you pay 18 cents less per gallon on your gas. Unfortunately, what they don't tell you is that denies us access to the funds that are necessary to build roads and bridges on which your vehicle uh, can ride. Games like, uh, well, let's release a million barrels a day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves. If you unleash American energy, you can produce roughly 5 million barrels a day from one field out in West Texas called the Permian Basin. 5 million. But Biden tells you to be satisfied. We're, we're really doing something about this by releasing them a million a day. And as you've heard before, it's not producing new oil. This is oil that's already been produced and been stored for an emergency. And heaven forbid we would have a real emergency. But this has also become a, a national security uh, imperative as well. We haven't talked enough about energy security. But you ask Germans, who I visited with on a recent trip to Germany and Poland, and they get it now. They realize they've been seduced in dependency on one source of oil, and that's Russia. And as you've heard from Senator Sullivan and others, Senator, excuse me, President Biden's been sending this confusing message that, well, we don't want more American energy, but we do want OPEC, and we want the Saudis and the Russians to produce more. I mean, it's absolute chaos. We need to get back to basics when it comes to the law of supply and demand, and it starts with producing more domestic energy. We were a net energy exporter in 2017 before the Biden administration declared war on the American energy industry.